What is up, everybody? Disco Dracula here, and welcome back to my playthrough of At Dead of Night. So, you can see here one second. We are at 41% complete, so it looks like we're going to have uh, maybe one or two videos left of this game. Based on the progress we've been making so far. Now, I believe in the last video, the last time I played, it told me to go to the third floor. So we're going to head up there and see, uh, you know, we're going to have to check the scrying mirror, obviously, but see where we need to go from here. Ground floor. Huh. Okay, well, let's go to the ground floor then, I suppose. Oh, wait, is it this area right here? Oh, okay, this door is open now. All right. I see. This is where the theater is. All right, it's all coming together. Hello? Behold! I am the great Hugo! A great Hugo. I stand alone above all others. I am the light which illuminates the darkness. I alone am. That's pretty cool. Huh. I'm not sure what just happened there, but it was pretty neat. Uh, let's try to talk to him. Is anyone there? Oh, maybe I need to get closer. Yeah, here we go. Backstage. Can I go up there? No? Alright, let's try here. Is anyone there? Nope. Well, I have to be able to go back here. Right? I guess not. There it is. There we go. I'm telling you, he's been lying about everything. Probably lying about the other stuff as well. He wouldn't lie about something like that. You sure about that? He lies about everything. Open your bloody eyes, Rose. Oh, that's right. Walk off. I'm not listening, Harvey. You've just got it in for him. It's the truth. Who is that? Well, let me go ahead and search. Nothing there. Nothing there. A coil of copper wire. Okay. Alright. So, let's go ahead and talk. Is someone there? Hello? What's your name? All right, is he Hugo? Oh, okay, he's the, uh, he's the hotel proprietor. Huh. Let's ask I about this. I saw a this. man saying Jimmy had lied about the assault. Who was he? It was me. Jimmy had made accusations about the doctor. Rose believed him, but I'd heard that story somewhere before. Hmm, okay. I saw someone on stage, a performer, announcing himself as the great Hugo. All right. What was the coil of wire used for? Jimmy used to carry it around with him. No idea why. So should I combine these two? You know, Jimmy had made accusations about the doctor abusing him, but he'd heard that story somewhere before. So 
does the co uh, the does the coil of wire have to do with when anything? When you said you'd heard the story somewhere before, is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? No. All right. Let's ask about the scrapbook. I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Jimmy. He used to keep cutouts of news stories about abusive teachers and doctors. He wasn't a normal boy. Yeah, clearly, Harvey. We've already established that. Let's go ahead and combine these two. When I think you said I you'd think that's what we need to combine. Before, does that have something to do with what you said about the scrapbook? Out yeah. As soon as I found that scrapbook, I knew where Jimmy had got it from. It was the same, down to every detail. Okay. All right. So it's still on the third floor. Let's go ahead and check this. I want to know why we, uh, I want to know why we saw Hugo down there. Like, where does he fit into all this? What room is that? I can't tell. Oh, man, these clues are getting harder. I can't even tell what room that is. That wasn't, was that the first room we went in on this floor? Was it this way? Oh, what? The good news is, is I don't think I had any keys from the last time he totally fucked me over. So, yeah, I, I have zero keys right now. Great. That is not good. At all. But at least he can't take anything from me, though. You in here? Alright, what key is that? Uh, stairs. Okay, I can unlock the stairs. That's good. Okay. All right, I got the stairs and a storeroom key. That's good. I needed that. I need to figure out where the event is because... Ah, oh, fuck. Give me a break, Jimmy. I'm not hiding in the bathroom. I learned my lesson last time. Yeah, it seemed like the ev the scripted event that I'm supposed to see was right here because it, the lights were flashing and flickering, but it didn't actually do anything. So I'm not sure. All right, doesn't seem like he's coming in. All right, it sounded like he was there. He was, dude. He was coming up right fucking behind me. I heard his footsteps. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear that, but I heard his footsteps, dude. He was right fucking behind me. Don't look in here, Jimmy. You already got me once. Just let me fucking ghost hunt, dude. look through here oh, 
Oh, okay. I know you can hear me. I know where you made it up, your little story about that psychiatrist. I know where you got it from. I knew I'd read it before. It's in your bloody scrapbook. <laughs> Well, good thing Jimmy chased me through here because otherwise I wouldn't have even looked in the uh, people. I only looked through there because I was making sure Jimmy wasn't out there. Try here. Is anyone there? Hello? Okay, there Is we go. Harvey? All right. Let's ask him about uh, I saw you shouting shout. through the door. Jimmy to admit he lied. Did he? Of course he did. He just laughed. Then he started setting little traps for me. Some of them not so little. Let's try that with the coil of wire. Did he like make a little fucking uh trip wire thing? When you said Jimmy started setting traps for you, is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? Aw, oh, man, I thought Jimmy made a tripwire. Alright, um... What else could he have made a trap with? Uh... I don't think it would be any of this. Let's ask Why him about this. Why is there a washing this. line tied around a rolling pin? Okay, well, maybe I don't have the item, and I'm going to have to go look for it. Oh, no. Ha! Fuck, man. I knew that was going to happen. Fuck, I didn't know there was a locked door. I mean, really, what was he going to take? We only had two keys, the storeroom key and the uh, stair key, which I already used the stair key and unlocked it, so I don't even know why it gave me another one. Shit, I always get lost on the second floor. I don't know why. You found an old heater marked dangerous. Okay. Well, let's go back up and talk to the dude. I'm assuming that's the item that we needed. Is anyone there? All right. Let's see what he knows about the heater. I can hear you. Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. All right. What do you know Why about the dangerous heater? Dangerous? Sorry, my Steam notifications keep going off. I need to turn those off real quick. Hold on. All right, sorry about that, guys. Let's go ahead and combine these. When you said Jimmy started setting traps for you, does that have anything to do with what you said about the dangerous heater? Jimmy was always playing with electricity. Well, yeah. He was never the one who got shocked. Hmm. Well, that's not very fun. So he fucking electrocuted Harvey? I know I say this every episode, probably multiple times per episode, but Jimmy, you're a real fucking asshole, you know that? Alright. Jimmy better not be able to get me right now. Alright. 
Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. Okay. I saw you suffering an electric shock. What happened? He knew that was my heater. He arrived the casing straight to the mains. Almost killed me. He did it deliberately. But Rose wouldn't have it. I knew he needed to be taught a lesson. He damaged my property, so I decided to damage his. Oh no, what did he... What did you damage? Uh, and trophies? I found some trophies. Who won them? I don't know. No? Um... What else would be his property? I probably don't have it. Yeah, it's Harvey. What were all the crickets and baseball bats for? Okay, hold on now. Maybe it's not Jimmy's property we need to ask about. Maybe we need to ask about the bats because that's what Harvey used to destroy his property with. When you said you decided to damage his property, does that I bet have this is it. What you said about the crickets and baseball bats? I kept those bats for self-defense. Yeah. Ooh, what did he what did he destroy with it? Second floor, okay. What was that? I couldn't tell what that was. Oh my god, dude, he was right there. <laughs> there you go, Harvey. Teach that little motherfucker a lesson. Alright, as I said, he's doing some shit that I didn't even know he could do, so I'm going to be safe and lock the door. Is someone there? I can hear you. Is it Harvey? Alright. Hey, Harvey. Yeah, it's Harvey. I don't know why I'm asking you if you're you, because I know you're Harvey. I saw you with a bat, coming out of a room. What had you done? He broke Jimmy's shit. There we go. They didn't work. It just made him worse. Oh. He soon retaliated. Ooh. What'd he do? Shoot you with a crossbow? <laughs> when you said Jimmy soon retaliated, does that have anything to do with what you said about the crossbow? Jimmy was fond of weapons like that. Oh my god! I, d I did not know that that's what it was. I was just being stupid. Oh, man. All right. Damn. So he fucking set up a trap with a crossbow. And it must have shot Harvey, dude. Holy shit. That's brutal. Two fifteen. All right. All right. Oh, I got to unlock the door. Duh. All right. Let's go to two fifteen.
What? I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. I didn't see Jimmy. I'm sure he was probably there. I just didn't see it. I'm playing a little sloppy right now because it's like after midnight. I'm tired. He's got me. Ooh. He does not have me. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't want to go yet. But it's literally like where I need to be. 215 is like one door down, I think. Because I think I'm in... Yeah, I'm in 213. Fuck it. Let's do it. Shut up, dude. Give me the key so I can lock it. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Man, that would fucking suck. Getting shot in the leg. I saw you being shot in the leg with an arrow. What happened? Jimmy had set it up to fire when I opened the door. <laughs> I had to go into A and E, get stitches and tetanus shots. When I got back, I couldn't find him. Rose said he was hiding in the basement. I gave me an idea. Uh oh. <laughs> what was your idea, dude? What would his idea be? I don't know. Let's check the scrying mirror. Oh, okay. So whatever I need is right across the way there. Well, that's good. That's convenient. Usually it's like a completely different floor and everything. So, uh, hell yeah. Shut up, dude. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm just going across the hallway, so fuck him. Fuck, dude. Okay, rusty keys. <laughs> I was like, no, dude. What are you going to do with the handgun? Try to fucking kill him? I mean, I don't blame you. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Ooh, shit. I should have locked it. I should have fucking locked the door. He's gonna get me this time, probably. Don't do it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I thought for sure, dude, I was fucked. Watch him be hiding in the bathroom. He can probably do that. Hello? Hello? Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. Alright, I'm assuming whatever his plan was was the uh, rusty keys. But let's ask it's about the handgun, to. too. It was mine. Belonged to my father. Still had a few rounds with 
All right, so we'll use save that for later. Okay. So let's combine these. When you said you thought Jimmy would like hiding in the basement, does that have something to do with those rusty keys? Yes. Well, if Jimmy wanted to hide down there, I thought you must like it. He fucking locked him in there, dude. <laughs> fucking Harvey's just as big of an asshole as Jimmy is. Alright. Let's go to the lower ground. Ooh! How does he know? He can't get me when I'm going back to get the spirit box, uh, or whatever it's called, can he? Because when I was leaving the second floor, he was there yelling. He was like, Maya? <laughs> okay. All right. So real quick, I I just want to say something. I do feel like uh some of the captures are getting to be a little cheap. I feel like two of them that have happened to me this episode so far have been just a little bit on the cheap side, like, um, not preventable. Like, the one that just happened to me, for example, he wasn't talking, I didn't know he was there, like, it was just a random occurrence, I guess. I came around the corner, and he was just waiting there. But he didn't give me, like, a clue that he was there, like, he wasn't peeking out to let me know, oh shit, he's there, I, I better not go that way. You know, so it's just, I don't know. It, it seems like sometimes Jimmy capturing you is like not preventable. And I don't like that. Is someone there? I can hear you. I don't know why he's is here. Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. I saw you locking Jimmy in the basement. What happened? I wanted to give Jimmy a dose of his own medicine. I thought he couldn't do any damage down there. Oh, well, he did. Yeah, you were wrong, because he burnt the fucking hotel. Was there a fire at the hotel? Yeah, he burnt the fire. He tried to burn the hotel down. Yeah, they managed to contain it, but I lost a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. All right, let's combine those. You said you were wrong to think Jimmy couldn't do any damage in the basement. Is that connected to what you said about the fire in the hotel? Nobody realized how far Jimmy would go to get attention. Bro, he shot you in the fucking leg with a crossbow bolt. If he's gonna shoot you with a crossbow, why wouldn't he burn the fucking hotel down, dude? Come on now. Man. I feel like everybody underestimates Jimmy when they have reasons not to. You know? I can understand why Amy did. She's a kid. That makes sense. Dr. Bo's got glass put in his fucking sandwich. And found all these violent drawings and everything. Harvey got shot in the fucking leg with a crossbow. Like, why are they still saying, I didn't realize how far he would go? What? Ooh. <laughs> well, 
you are the one that locked him down here, so... Shouldn't you be the one opening the door? Is it, Harvey? Okay, let's try going in. Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. I saw a fire in the basement. What happened to the hotel? We managed to contain it before it got out of hand. Oh, photos and letters and everything were down there. It all went up in flames. Jimmy was out of control. I'd had enough of him. I wanted him gone. Ooh, let's combine the handgun. Did Harvey try to kill Jimmy? When you said you wanted Jimmy gone, does that have something to do with what you said about the gun? I'd lost it. I was seeing red. Oh! <laughs> Floor two. See, this is what Jimmy does. He gets under everybody's skin and pushes their buttons to the point to where they can't fucking handle it anymore. I mean, he caused Dr. Bose to kill himself after he lost his fucking job and everything. Like, this is what he does, dude. He just fucking gets under everybody's skin and pushes their fucking buttons. Nope. I'm just gonna get get on out of here. Go to the ground floor. <laughs> it's like he knew I was gonna be going up to the second floor. Well, too bad you can't come on the ground floor, Jimmy. Fucker. Alright, I'm taking the stairs this time. Yo! What are you doing, dude? Leave me alone. Well, luckily, I am right here. Bro, come on. I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. Fuck you, Jimmy. Leave, you stupid bastard. Dude. That was a close one. <laughs> he looked right at the fucking... Dude, I'm so fucked when I leave here. He's just waiting for me to come out. He knows I'm here. He looked right at the fucking eye hole. There we go. Get out of the hotel, Jimmy. Get out of my hotel. This is my hotel. Get out of my hotel, Jimmy. Alright, cool. And I got the key for this one. Okay. Door's locked. Can't come in now. Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. I saw you with a gun, practicing with it. What were you going to do? I don't know what I was going to do. Threaten him, get him out of the hotel. The problem was, I didn't realize he was going to be on too. Oh, 
Okay. What did he have? Fuck! This video is turning into just a compilation of death scenes. Alright. I don't know what he took. I didn't check. Alright, 212 is this way. There we go. Ooh, he had a dagger. Okay. Alright, we need to make our way back to 220. It's almost easier to just let Jimmy kill us. Too bad, you little bitch. I don't think you can come in a storeroom. <laughs> I still don't know why that happens. Get in there and lock the fucking door. No, dude. He took the fucking key. Alright, well, let's see if maybe there's one in here again. Nope, I did get a storeroom key though, so that's good. All right. Hello. Hello. Is it Harvey? Yes. All right, let's. Uh, oh shit! Wait, I can't Which ask. The dagger I gotta to? ask first. Ooh, sorry, Harvey. When you said you didn't realize Jimmy would be armed too, does that have anything to do with what you said about the dagger? It wasn't even a dagger. I never learned my lesson. Jimmy was always one step ahead of me. Man, he does not like us calling it a dagger. He's like, ah, it's a letter opener, actually. Okay, back to the ground floor. Shit. Fucked. Woo, that was close. Damn, he's gotten me almost three times getting on the elevator. All right, at least we are safe. <laughs> he is fucking pissed. So you remember what I said last episode when I was like, 
So Jimmy hasn't actually killed anybody yet. He's just kind of like twisted people's arm or whatever. Well, no, he straight up fucking murdered Harvey. Is it Harvey? Yeah, it's Harvey. All right, let's ask him about this first. I saw you heading towards the ballroom with the gun. What were you doing? I was looking for Jimmy. Okay. I saw you being stabbed backstage. What happened? Jimmy crept up behind me. I didn't see him. Jimmy always won in the end. Oh, okay. So Jimmy actually crept up behind him and stabbed him in the neck. It looked like... Because I just, like, swung around and saw it. It looked like he, like, threw it at him or something. Alright, there's Harvey's story. Alright, guys. Well, we're going to wrap this one up here. We just did Harvey's story, and... As you can see, we're at 70% complete now. So I'm assuming we only have one more spirit left to interact with. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking of the game so far. If you are watching this and you aren't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button if you enjoy my content. It only takes a second. And yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in the next video where we should be wrapping up at Dead of Night. Stay spooky.